What is going on everyone? I'm Peter and we're back again for another daily video. Today I wanted to outline more about looking good. I know a few days ago I talked about my training philosophy, look good, feel good, perform good. But today I want to go deeper into the looking good aspect. And I know this may seem a bit superficial to a lot of you guys um, on the surface, but trust me it goes a lot deeper than that because when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you're confident. And when you present that to the outside world, people will take notice on a conscious and a subconscious level and not just in a romantic way. You will form positive relationships in your life because of it and people will take notice of the presence you give off. Because when you take care of your body, it sends a signal that um, you are serious about your fitness and that's something to be admired, I think, and a lot of, I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree. So I'm not here to tell you what you should think looks good. Everyone has their own opinion on it. So you need to ask yourself what you think looks good. What I'll be talking about is what I think looks good and what most, I think, guys would agree. I'll be talking about um, men here, males, how to build a physique you can be satisfied with. So... Again, you need to ask yourself what you think looks good. I'm not here to tell you what you should think looks good. I'll just be going by the general consensus on what I would agree that as it is an admirable physique. I'm not saying I have the, a pinnacle of um, f fitness physique, far from it. I'm, I'm stretching myself, I'm aiming high, but I'm not there by any means. But I think I've learned a few things over the years by observing and actually putting in the action in the gym and with my dad and training so on a beginner level if you haven't been in the gym or you've been in the gym for a while and you're not seeing maybe any results there's basically two big factors that go into looking good and those would be you need to build muscle first and foremost you need to build muscle all over Okay, if you've got no muscle, you can't be. You shouldn't be worrying about the little tweaks and um, the fine hedges. You just need to build muscle all over, basically. And the other part would be um, having low body fat, so ten to fifty percent body fat, nothing too um low because that's not healthy. And ten to fifty percent body fat, where you can see you know outline of your muscles. You can see some vascularity, um, the definition is there, that will enhance your look and it is it is a constant in everyone's admirable physique. I know there's different muscle structures people prefer and balances but a low body fat, most people would agree, is definitely admirable. So building muscle as I said, as a beginner you shouldn't be worried about, oh should I have, you know, this the cap delts or whatever or like so my arms be 22 inches or 20 inches you shouldn't be worrying about that you just need to build muscle all over okay and if you're a beginner to build mus muscle all over you need to you need to build strength in each plane of movement so you need to have a push you need to perform a movement pushing overhead so this could be the standing overhead press or the seated dumbbell press see the dumbbell shoulder press or a machine exercise okay then you need to have a horizontal push which could be a bench press a push press it could be um, a dumbbell bench press maybe it could be push-ups if you're just starting off it just depends okay then you could you could maybe do some incline as well incline dumbbell bench press incline barbell bench press at least one of those i would say most people would agree so Okay, then you need to have a horizontal pull. So this could be a row, be a barbell row, could be a dumbbell row, could be a T bar row, could be any other row, any other horizontal horizontal row. So, like that. Then you need to have a vertical row, vertical pull. Sorry. So this could be a chin up, pull up. Um, it could be a lat pull down. I know a lot of people struggle with pull ups and chin ups in the beginning, so maybe you need to work up to that by reducing your body fat. And reducing your weight therefore and also um, improving the strength of your back muscles namely 
most of your lot your lats. So you may have to work up to doing chin ups and pull ups, but it's definitely achievable if you're consistent with it. So you have to have a vertical pull up, vertical pull. Okay. Then you want to do some sort of squatting motion. So it could be a hack squat, barbell squat, goblet squat, any of those. Okay. And, or multiple other movements. I'm sure I'm missing out. Just endless. <laughs> and um, you want a hip hinge movement. So deadlift, big one. Um, you could talk, you could hack bar, deadlift, There's tons of other variations, of course. Um, and then you want to lunge. A lunging movement, so dumbbell lunge, barbell lunge, one of those, okay. So, if you know me, I'm, I do favor on the side of, the barbell movements. But um, of course, as I said before, they're not divine. You don't have to do them, but I would say that, they're probably the best bet for a lot of you guys. Give you most bang for your buck and, um. You know something like the standing overhead barbell press, and um, because it's standing, it will favor those you're seeking to become more athletic because, um, will require core stability. You know, um, it's you not standing up, so you will require some more, more stabilizers from your core and other things. So once you've got all your basic basic movements down and you'll be building strength for a while, muscle. Muscle growth will occur, okay, if your diet's on point, if you're in a calorie surplus, you're gaining weight. If, once you get to the stage where you've got a substantial amount, a decent amount of muscle, you can start, you know, thinking about, okay, what muscles do I want to favor? Do I have any um, lagging body parts? Do I have any imbalances? So then, this is where you get into the more, like, bodybuilding, sculpting aspect of it. You can do this at the beginning if you want, but you know a lot of people um nowadays favor the wide capped delts. So if you really want wide capped delts, which a lot of people do, then you would um you would want to incorporate uh, some sort of side lateral raise dumbbell or machine, and this will along with your with your major um shoulder movement like overhead press or seated dumbbell press this is going to enhance the muscularity of your lateral delts and make you appear wider and this is deemed to be very um, desirable by a lot of guys and you know I would agree okay and a lot of people want a V taper so this goes back to classic bodybuilders like Steve Reeves um, you know, fitness model look, they have the tight waist and the wide lats. This gives you a V taper um, silhouette, which a lot of people do desire. If you want to do that, then you want, if you want to achieve a V taper, then you would want to focus on bringing up your lats to enhance the width of your back. And of course, there we're moving on to body fat now but you want to to have a tight waist of course no one can change the bone structure of how wide their hips are but um you can help it by having low body fat and reducing the, the size of your waist so that would go into it and moving on to body fat then most people would want to have a low, a, a lowish body fat. If you don't, that's fine. But a lot of people do. Um, this will make your muscles seem more enhanced, improve the definition, and a lot of people do deem this desirable because, um, it does give that um, lean, diced look that a lot of people do go for, and I think that's almost universal. So if you, you don't have to build, as a beginner, yes, you can build muscle and reduce your body fat at the same time, especially if you're overweight, but they don't have to be done simultaneously. A lot of people, including myself, have built muscle for a year, six months, and then reduced, they reduced their body fat, and then they built muscle for another six months, a year, whatever, 
and then they've reduced their body fat again. So this doesn't all happen overnight. It does happen in different phases. You can do one or the other. You can do the one or the other, it just depends. If you're overweight, it's recommended to, probably most people would agree to lose the fat first and then build muscle, but you can't, if you're untrained and you haven't been going to the gym, you can do that simultaneously. So if you do those two things, build muscle, build loads of muscle, lose and then have a healthy trim body fat, you're going to look good. It's just inevitable, okay? Look at any guy who's got big muscles and they're low in body fat and most people would agree they look, they have a good physique, okay? And then if you want to get into the nitty gritty, you can start prioritizing your shoulders and your upper chest because I know that's a lot of look a lot of people want. You can do that, okay? If you, if you really want to, you can do that. If you really want big legs, you can focus on your legs. It just depends. But those are the two key tenets that go into looking good. I think most people would agree. If you don't agree, let me know why. But that's the general consensus and it has been since I the dawn of dawn of time. So hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed that. Let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.